You have another tip in terms of how we can hack our spirit. What, tell us about that. So if we're at home and we want to, I don't, I don't even know the terminology, explain it to us, but we want to focus a little bit more on, on it, what's inside here. Okay, so your body is a living organism and your body has what is known as sensorium. So it's picking up on energy, it's picking up on synthesis, it's picking up on everything that's happening in your environment. That's why when you watch the news or you have someone who's angry in the house, you walk in <laughs> and you're like, oh, there's a really dark cloud here, I can feel it. And people immediately go into that space. They don't realize why they're feeling it because we all by nature are empathic beings. So the body is always listening to you. So one of the ways you can do that is spirit hacking, which is something that I created that I've been sharing around the world. So I, I will do it on myself first and I'll show you. And it's literally like having Alexa um, and like communicating with your own body, right? So I'll do it. Shaman Dirk, increase happiness and joy in your body at level 100. Yeah, this feels good. So, and the thing is, and I'll, and I'll show you, I want, I'll demonstrate with you. So you can put your hand out. Like? Just one hand. Okay. Yeah, and say, I increase electricity in my right hand. I, I increase electricity in my right hand. So I can feel it on my skin. So I can feel it on my skin. At 100. At 100. <laughs> At 100. At 100. And what are you sensing? I feel a tingle. Uh -huh. Say, I increase that tingle. I increase that tingle. I feel more of a tingle. Say, I move it to another area of my body. I move it to another area of my body. Now what do you feel? It's more of my feet. Good. So literally what happens is you, your body is responding and energy is all around you. Everything is energy. This cup is energy. This table is energy. So energy is happening all around you. And what we don't realize as human beings is that we're affected by energy. When we listen to music, when there's, like I always time when a song, I listen to country music, but when there's music that is playing and you hear words, that's literally affecting your body. That's affecting your system. That's affecting you. So we have to become more aware and more responsible of how we communicate to our body as well is how we communicate to ourselves, and, and in that way, you're energizing yourself, right? Absolutely, Getting like yourself I self fired up and positive, and I can do this. Yeah, I say I call it staying lit. When did you become spiritual like this? I mean, even as a child, or uh, yeah. So I was chosen at five years old from my grandmother, who was uh, a native um, tribal woman in Ghana. And, and we do have to go, but you have one last tip, and I love this one so much that I don't want to go to break until you share this one with everyone. So having a morning ritual, okay? Morning ritual is so important because when you have a morning ritual, like instead of just getting up, going to your computer, going to your cell phone, and like getting involved in the house and the structure, you literally need to just go outside and just take some deep breaths. And then I do this thing called wording yourself up. Because a lot of times what happens we don't realize is that a lot of the reasons why we feel the way we do is because of things we hear from other people and what we say to ourselves. And what people don't realize is that when you talk to yourself, you actually are creating yourself. So if you start off by simply saying, saying, every time I walk into a room, I light up the room. Things are always falling into my lap easy. I love how I always bring joy wherever I go. I love how I'm always feeling good and feeling optimum health in my body. When you do that, you are literally creating your whole entire system to take that energy on. And what happens is a lot of times people will say, oh, that person is draining my energy. I don't want to hang out with them. I go to, you know, on Christmas time, my family, they just drain me. It's not even possible. No one can drain your energy. You're responsible for yourself. So when you recognize that you are the one who is giving yourself energy and you're also the one that's taking it, you realize that you have the power. It's always been here with you. It's just that you keep putting it on other people and it's time to put it with yourself. Great tips, and hey, if you love, love country it. music, let me know if you want to come visit Nashville. Oh, I definitely want to visit well, Nashville. Are you music kidding there. me? That's, like on so my, that's on my, uh, my life me, list. Please let me know. Really appreciate you coming on and today. Good stuff. And as we always say on the show, the mind-body connection has never been greater.